better people, better lives. The benefits of having higher quality people in your life are obvious. If you have intelligent friends, you will have better conversation. If you have interesting and eclectic colleagues, you will have a more interesting career. If you have a hotter spouse, you will have a better sex life. And if you have a stronger character, you will have a better family. In general, the higher quality of people in your life, the higher quality life you will lead. But the added benefit of having good people in your life is that it strikes at the biggest weakness of leftists. Envy. Understand at the core of leftist ideology is the concept of equality. We can see this in the left's demand to constantly redistribute more and more income, and there is no doubt in anybody's mind that deep down inside most leftists would love nothing more than to achieve 100% equal income distribution. However, the left's desire to make things fair doesn't stop with income and wealth. There are other instances of inequality in life. Intelligence, prestige, skill, looks, strength, talent, etc. Even things that do not speak to a person's character or intelligence is deemed unequal such as height, or race, or sex. And if you go beyond the left's fiscal ideology and look at its social ideology, you can see they are actively attempting to make things equal in these non-financial aspects as well. Fat acceptance, not keeping score at Little League games, the elimination of he and she in the Swedish language, etc. In short, they wish to eliminate all differences between all people. The problem in doing so is that you eliminate the individual. And individuality is what makes humans the most cherished things on Earth. The reason leftists pursue the elimination of individuality, however, is because they're afraid of being inferior. Sadly, all they manage to achieve in surrounding themselves with boring, equally mediocre like-minded people is a boring, equally mediocre life. It is only logical, then, what we can do to get our revenge from these people. Rub their faces in it. Understand, in surrounding yourself with unique, eclectic, high-quality people, your life will be superior to theirs. While you're laughing it up at some cocktail party listening to some David Brubeck, Jebediah and Peggy Sue will be drinking swill listening to some painful country song in their double-wide trailer. While you're looking at real art and appreciating masters like Monet and Rembrandt, the faux-intellectual liberal crowd will be suffering at the latest minimalistic art opening of some talentless trust fund baby. While you're walking down the street with your hot-bodied girlfriend as she dons six-inch heels, Tanner the effeminate liberal male will look at his eco-warrior portly vegan girlfriend and contemplate suicide. And while your masculine husband gives you such a mind-blowing orgasm you start to flirt with unconsciousness, there's a feminist somewhere just trying to have one, but she can't, because she can't fully imagine Tanner is George Clooney. The left has to surround itself with mediocre, hypocritical, compliant bores in an attempt to protect their egos. Remind them of that fact every day by having superior friends and living a superior life. 